Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Stretch the circle up over your head and bring it to one side, over to the other side, one more time at the top, and we'll bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started, let's do three things quickly. First, turn on our listening ears. The second thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. Mine is right here behind me. I'm going to put it on top of my head, and today my thinking hat has a ribbon underneath my chin, so I'm going to tie it up into a big bow. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts, like this. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do a double check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are all warmed up. Now we can get started with circle time. Behind me, I have the calendar and weather chart. First, we are going to go over the date and start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you remember what the month is? June. Today is June 29th. Yesterday was June 28th. Today is June 29th, and the year is 2021 or 2021. Friends, look at this. After today, we only have one more day left in the month of June, and then we will begin a brand new month. I'm going to sing a song and listen carefully to see if you can hear what month comes after the month of June. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear what month comes after the month of June? July. July will be here in just one, two more days. On Thursday, it will be the first day of July. But for now, it's still the month of June. Let's hold up seven fingers for the seven days of the week song. We'll start with one hand, but that's only five fingers. We need two more fingers like this to make seven. If you know the words, you can sing with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week. I'm going to give you the sound that the day starts with, and if you know what the date is, the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is T. Tuesday, and tomorrow will be W. Wednesday. Let's go back. And will you sing Today is Tuesday with me? Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday all day long. Right up here, we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Summer. 
It's summertime where I live. And back down at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together, and then we can share what we see outside of the window. Will you sing with me? What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So where I live, I have a picture that was the same from yesterday. Yesterday, it was mostly sunny. And today, it's also mostly sunny. When I look outside of my window, I see the sun shining with a few clouds. My temperature chart today is between orange and red. It's not as hot as it was yesterday, but it's still pretty warm where I live. A very warm and mostly sunny day. What did you see outside your window, friends? Take a look and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we learned a new letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? T, t. And what uppercase or capital letter is this? T, you're right. This is an uppercase or capital T. T says t, t. Let me grab my letter box because I have something that starts with the letter t, t. I'm going to give you a couple of clues and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a vehicle. This vehicle travels pretty quickly. It also travels on a track. Do you know what it is? Let's see. A train. So trains are a type of a vehicle that travel quickly on a track. Train starts with the letter t, t. This is how you write an uppercase t, t. One more time. And here is the number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? Five. And let's hold up five fingers. Five, the number five. Now let's count to the number five together using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to be counting to the number five using the large bead frame. So we are going to be counting the green beads, the units, at the top. Let's count to the number five together. One, two, three, four, five. Five units. And let's take a peek inside of the number box and see what else I have to count today. I have some flowers. Friends, do you remember what kinds of flower this is? A daisy. These flowers are called daisies. They have white petals with a yellow inside. Mmm, and they smell nice. As I count them, I'm going to line them up across the top of the box so you can count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Five daisies. Yesterday, I showed you how to say water in sign language. Will you show me how? That's right, friends. You bring your three fingers and tap it to your mouth, like this. Water. So now that it's summertime, the pond in my yard is full of wildlife. I love going down to the pond with my kids 
and we use our five senses to experience everything that nature has to share with us. Come on, I'll show you how we do that. So here we are down at the pond. Now before we go on, let's quickly go over what our five senses are. So we have our sense of touch, we have our sense of sight, we have our sense of smell, our sense of taste, and our sense of sound. And we rely on different parts of our body for those five senses. So let's begin with our sense of sight. We use our eyes down at the pond to see all the different wildlife that lives here. Now, as you can see, there is a big pile in the background made up of dried and old cattails. That is a home to a muskrat. Now, the muskrat is very sneaky and shy and doesn't like to be seen. So even though I've had trouble spotting the muskrat, I can still use my sense of sight and look at the home that he built. Next, we have our sense of smell. So we use our noses for this sense. And I love coming down to the pond because I can smell all of the wild mint that grows here. Here's some mint growing. Mmm, it smells so nice. And I'm also going to use my sense of taste for this one. Speaking of my sense of taste, I use my mouth for my sense of taste. And later on in the season, there are lots and lots of raspberries that we like to come down and pick and eat. We use our mouths for the sense of taste. For our sense of sound, we're going to use our ears. If you listen carefully, you can see all the red-winged blackbirds that are calling to each other. And I also use my sense of sound in order to hear all the frogs that are jumping into the pond as I walk by and in the nighttime, I can hear the peepers singing to each other. And our last sense is our sense of touch. We use our hands and our feet for this one. On a really hot summer's day, I like to come down to the pond and I like to dip my feet into the cool water to cool off. Before we head back, I'm going to use this empty jar and I'm going to take a scoop of the murky pond water for today's work. So I'm back inside now and I have my cup of water that I collected from the pond. And for today's work, we are going to purify this dirty pond water. So you don't need water from a pond. You can use any water and add some dirt to it in order to make it muddy. So for today's work, you're going to need one cup of muddy, dirty water and then another cup that is empty and make sure that the cups or the jars that you have are clear and see-through. And then you'll also need a paper towel folded in half. So I folded it in half, and then I'm just going to fold it this way so that I can put one side of the paper towel into each of the glasses that I have. So I'm going to put one end into the dirty water and the other end into the empty jar. And I can already see right here that the water is starting to travel up the paper towel. So the water from the pond is coming up the paper towel and slowly, 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 it will travel through the paper towel and then fill up this empty jar. And that is how the water will be purified. It will leave behind all of the dirt and sand from the pond and only the water will come up and it will be clean once it reaches this jar. So this work takes a little while and we will check back on it in a little bit. So here we are back at our work tray a few hours later. And as you can see, the water level from this first cup has dropped significantly because all the water has been filtered through the paper towel. And now clean water is inside of the second glass. So again, this is a very long process. But as you can see, this paper towel is very wet and damp 
because it's full of the water that's been traveling up and into the second jar. And there is a little bit of water starting to come into the bottom of this second jar. And if we look back to the first jar, you can see that all of the sand and dirt and debris has sunk down to the bottom. The water is staying up at the top and traveling up and through the paper towel and the clean water, the purified water, is in the second jar. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. I hope you had fun visiting the pond with me. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. We have one last song to sing before we go. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you back tomorrow.